Visit our YouTube channel at Max TV. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications on our uploads. President Muhammad Buhari last month sacked Dr. Joy Nunez as acting managing director of the Niger Delta Development Commission NDDC as part of ongoing efforts to restructure the commission. Contrary to the belief in some quarters that Dr. Nunye was unjustly removed from office, correspondent Chika Abudozir reports that failure to enroll in the compulsory National Youth Service NYS scheme was responsible for her sack. In October 2019, Bene Dr. Joy Nunye resumed at the corporate headquarters of the NDDC in the capacity of acting managing director. She was appointed alongside Dr. Cairo Ujugbo, Acting Executive Director, Projects, and Mr. Ibanga Etang, Acting Executive Director, Finance and Administration. All members of an interim management committee put in place to supervise a forensic audit of the NDDC. Dr. Nunye exuded confidence and appeared determined to carry out her assignment diligently. The Queen Esther of Ogoniland, as she prides herself, left no one in doubt that she was out to spar with anyone who dared to cross her path in the course of discharging the all-important task entrusted to her by President Buhari. While in office, she made more enemies than friends, but didn't give two pens about her detractors. Dr. Nunye probably had no inkling of what her adversaries were up to when they went to town with the story of her non-participation in the mandatory National Youth Service Corp scheme. Barely four months after she assumed office, the highly connected lawyer and Patakot socialite was dropped as acting managing director of the NDDC on February 19, 2020. Ever since, several factors have been adduced for her abrupt sack while some attribute her removal from office to the fact that she contended with many powerful forces, others believe she was shown the way out for refusing to pay for executed contracts. The truth, however, remains that Dr. Joy Nunye was sacked for failing to participate in the mandatory National Youth Service Corp scheme. At the peak of the controversy surrounding her non-participation in the National Youth Service scheme, the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs, which supervises the NDDC, wrote a letter to NYC requesting for an official clarification on the status of Dr. Joey Nunye with regards to her participation in the scheme. In its reply dated 11 February 2020, the National Youth Service Scheme confirmed that the former NDDC boss was a student of the Nigerian Law School during the 1989-1990 academic session and was deployed to Kwara State for the mandatory one-year national service in the 1990-91 service year. The NYC could not, however, confirm her participation in the scheme. Excerpts from the letter reads thus, However, no record exists in either the NYC Quara State or NYC National Directorate Office to evidence her participation in the scheme. In the controversy surrounding Dr. Nunez's non-participation in the NYC scheme, her actions left much to be desired. Rather than come out clean on her NYC participation status and resign honorably as former Finance Minister Kemi Adeoshun did in September 2018, when faced with a similar challenge, the former NDDC boss preferred to cut corners in the hope that the law will be manipulated to favor her. Fortunately, the law has taken its course. Perhaps Dr. Joy Nunez's experience will remind other public servants that the law is supreme and cannot be circumvented, therefore, to feather the nest of untouchable elements in any sane society. Visit our YouTube channel at Max TV. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications on our uploads.